Do you know what the expected lifetime of the Arduino is <coughs> in a space environment with regards to the radiation? Brady, did you, did you uh, in working on the, the cosmic ray detector part of this, how does the number of cosmic rays that you see from the detector correlate to the expected cosmic ray flux at the Earth's surface of about one per centimeter per second, or per square centimeter per second? You said you, you decided not to use coincidence in this? Okay. Did you work on the, the power system at all? Okay. So you said your solar panel provides 30 volts, but of course that's only if it's in, or 30. So it, in flight hardware, what's going to take the place of the 9 volts? I was wondering how, how long, like, 
you know, it's obviously orbiting, it's going to be seeing some number of day-night cycles. I don't know what orbit, what, how many, how fast the orbit is at that altitude. My concern was seeing that you're, you were talking about running the, the silicon photo detectors at 30 volts. But if you've got, I don't know what kind of regulator you're using, I assume it's like a, a, a buck converter, but if you've got only a little bit of voltage above your target, it can be difficult to regulate down only a, a tiny, tiny amount. And then if you get shadows or if it rotates and you get fluctuating output from the solar panels, it would be potentially problematic. 